Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Oh, good, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Okay, now let's start with the class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to stay here with you again. Let's start with the show again. <laughs> show again. Okay. The show. <laughs> Okay, so today is November 11th, and we're going to continue with section number four, right? Bucaru. Bucaru. <laughs> yeah, we're going to read that, yes. Okay, let me see who's my date. Noticiero El Salvador. <laughs> okay. Sorry, teacher. No problem. Viendo el, viendo el show estoy. Okay, good. No problem. No problem, right? Ahorita, ahorita. So, um, so listen and exercise. Who's my dad, right? We were learning this. Oops. And just give me a second. Yes, this is the one, right? Bocaru. Intonation questions, right? Remember, right? Lesson participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in question. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. R rising? Falling. Rising, oh. falling, right? Yes, no question. Are, are you Rolando? I am Rolando. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Huh? Information question for. What's your name? My le my name is Jose Alonso Tejada, right? So you say, yes, no question. Are rising and information question are falling, right? Let's continue. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is in. Okay, then we have this. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? Oh, no, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. What programs do you like? What video do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay. Now we're going to go to the commentaries, ladies and gentlemen. Juan Alfonso. Let's listen, Juan Alfonso, right? Listen, intonation. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? Excellent. Very good. I like it. Now, let's go to... Oops. <clears throat> what happened here, right? Sorry, I closed the, the <laughs> I closed the, <laughs> the platform, right? Sorry. I closed the platform, so I will open it again. Sorry. And here. Sorry, class. Also, also. Okay, now here we we are again. 
section four, intonation, right? Again, now we're going to listen to a new student, right? And the next student is going to be, let me see. Okay. Abel, right? Is Abel here today? Yes, Abel, Iraeta, right? Okay, let's open. And let's listen, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Abel. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Cling! Excellent, right? Very good. Now let's continue with the next one. Let me see. Um, I have to return. Sorry, taking time. Okay. Now, Roxana Cornejo, right? Roxana Cornejo is not in our group, right? No, right? Okay, so Alicia. Miss Colorado Handel, listen to the audio. Let me see if I can open it from here. No, right. Okay. Now listen. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Very good, right? Rising, falling. Rising, falling. Congratulations, Alicia. Claps for you. Now, let's go to the next. Uh, Lorena, okay. Let's listen, Lorena. What happened here? Okay. Lorena. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, I see some interruptions in the audio, but the intonation is correct. Yes. So thank you, Lorena. Thank you. Cling for you, right? Nice. Okay, and let's go to the next one, right? So we have Alonso, Alicia, and Lorena, right? Who's next? Uh, Rosa. No, but Rosa, I guess I don't have a, an audio. Let me see. Ah, yes, here, right? Rosa. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Good. I like when, when Rosa say instrument because she uh, give emphasis in the T, instrument. No, instrument, instrument, no, no, right? She said correctly, instrument. Congratulations, Rosa. Okay, let me see who's next. Rolando Campos. I don't know, this is a new student, right? Okay, let's see this, this Rolando, who is this, this new student in this class, right? Okay. Do you like watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? Good, good, excellent, right? Cling, 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 cling. For Rolando, right? 
Uh, the intonation is perfect. You only uh, didn't pronounce correctly musical, right? Musical, musical, but the, the intonation is, is correct. Congratulations, Rolando. Excellent. Thank like, you, teacher. Like I say to my students in the school, excellentoso, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, even, even the dogs are happy for you, Rolando. <laughs> Ooh, amo, lo hiciste bien. Okay. No, 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 quieren, no quieren al vecino. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Ana, Alvar Ana María, right? Yes. Ana María Alvarado. Let me see in the list. Uh, uh -huh, Ana María is, right? Okay, list. Ana María is in the class today. No problem, we can listen, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Anne Marie. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What the videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? Okay, somebody was playing Mario, <laughs> but very good intonation. Ana Maria, congratulations, right? She's not here, but she's going to watch the, the video, right? Tomorrow in YouTube. If it is possible, right? Si, si no se vuelve a caer YouTube. Okay, now let me see. Rolando, uh, Carolina. Huh? But wait. Carolina. Ah, el de I... ayer, teacher, no lo he hecho. El... Ah, no. ok. No problem, Carolina. Was, hey, okay. the audio. No problem, Carol. Don't worry. You can make it later, right? Uh, and those are commentary from yesterday, ok? No, no more vocaruz? Oh, ok. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, maybe. No problem, right? Ok, good. And uh, that's it, right? So today we're going to start with 4.10, right? 4.10. Extrañadas. Uh, conversation and invitation, Extrañadas. right? Extrañadas. Hello, hello. <laughs> Por ahí un micrófono encendido, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, I understand. Don't worry. Eh, a veces hasta el, el, el perrito del vecino se me ve aquí también a mí. Así que <laughs> no problem. Don't worry. <laughs> Good. Now. Uh, we're going to, to go to the PowerPoint presentation, right, for the class of today. Mm -hmm. Pre-intermediate here, right? And let's go to the presentation here. Oopsie. Sorry. Okay. Good. Now... Presentation. Look. Okay, let me see. Pre intermediate module one, right? Conversation, an invitation, right? 4.10, right? Uh, 4.12, the grammar good. And the structure verb plus two plus verb, right? These are the topics for today. November 11, right? It was the year of the offensiva, right? Uh, remember in 1989, right? Yes? Okay, good. Now, the lesson objective. Mm, Alicia, can you read the objective for, for the class, please? Okay, lesson objective and this lesson participant will listen to a conversation where both for invitation is used when making plans. Plans. Mm -hmm. Plans. Use when making plans. Thank you. Use uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, listen. Uh, the pronunciation of use in present and in past is the same. I don't know why, but it's the same. Use, use, the same, right? Okay, and the use of would in the conversation. Would, that is the past tense of want. 
Okay, want, good. Okay, and uh, let's start working with the vocabulary in this uh, in this conversation, right? Soccer match, gate, some fine, right? Only that. Okay, only that. So repeat after me, please. Soccer match. Gate. Sounds fine. Okay, soccer match is like, say, uh, juego de fútbol, right? Partido de fútbol, soccer match. Gate is a big door, right? Normally, you have a gate in the garage, for example, right? And sound fine is like, suena bien. Okay. Um, May, recibí su mensaje. Ya, no se preocupe, May. Por aquí estamos esperando. No importa la hora que se conecte, right? Okay, continue. Now, sound fine is like you say, for example, hey, let's, let's go to eat some pupusas. Sound fine. Let's go to, to watch Alianza playing in the Cuscatlan Stadium. Sound fine, right? Let's go and see a, a soccer match of Barcelona. Sound fine. Come on, I will invite to eat a pizza. Sound fine, right? Good. Now, we're going to go to the next part, right? The second lesson objective, right? Let me see who's going to help me. Mai. Hoy ya está con nosotros, ¿verdad, Mai? Mai. Hello. Yes. hello. Oh, yeah. Aquí okay. Estoy ya. Excellent. Me Excellent. El internet, pero aquí estoy okay. Ya. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hasta a mí me ha pasado. No se preocupe. Okay. Now, Rosa, please. Can you read the, the lesson objective for the second part, Rosa? Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the Compre use to work mm -hmm. in question and answer. Very good. Thank you. I like this verb. Comprehend. Comprehend, right? Comprehend. That means com comprender, right? Comprehend. Comprehend. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you very much. Now... The use of would, verb plus two plus verb in affirmative, right? Look, subject plus would plus verb plus two plus verb. Kenneth would like to drink soda. So we have the subject Kenneth, the modal would, the verb like, and then the preposition to, right? So we have verb plus two plus verb. It's another verb, right? Drink. But pay attention. The main verb in this case is like, not drink, right? Drink is like a complement of the sentence, right? It's not the principal verb, right? So you have to focus in like in the sentence. Another example. They would like to cross the river, right? If you want to go to United States, right? Aprovechando que ya no se va a hacer el muro, pues hay que cruzar el río otra vez, right? They would like to cross the river. No, no, mejor no, es muy peligroso. <laughs> they would like to cross the river. So again, the modal would, the verb like, plus another verb, another verb, sorry, cross. But I repeat, the main verb is like, right? In this case is, eh, a ellos le gustaría cruzar el río, cruzar right? El río. Yosaber would like to see her friend. A Yosaber le gustaría ver a su amiga, her friend, right? O amigo. ¿no? Okay, so the main verb is like, and see is another verb, but it's like a compliment, right? Marvin would like to eat chicken. Campero chicken, maybe, right? Okay. Now, the contraction. For example, if you want to say, I would, you can make the contraction, I'd. You would, you can make the contraction, you'd. He would, the contraction, he'd. 
she would, she'd, it would, it, we would, with, and they would, they'd. Okay, those are the contractions for the pronouns when you use would, right? Listen, would is the pronunciation, right? Okay, now let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Kenneth would like to drink soda. <clears throat> Sorry. They would like to cross the river. Josabeth would like to see her friend. Marvin would like to eat chicken. Pio Pio. Okay, now, notice that when I use Kenneth, Josabeth, and Marvin, and I use the verb like, I don't say Kenneth would likes. No, right? Because you use a model here, it's not necessary to add an S to the verb, right? In Josabeth also, Josabeth would like, Marvin would like, but you don't say Marvin will likes, no, right? It's not necessary, the S in the, in the verb. So, uh, in this case, we're talking about uh, a way to express something that you like to do, right? Esta es una forma de expresar las cosas que quisiéramos hacer. Yo quisiera tomar una gaseosa, right? No, yo no tomo gaseosa, pero es la, la, la oración, right? Ellos quisieran. Okay. No es que les guste, sino que quis, quisieran cruzar el río, ¿verdad? Ok, yo sabe good light. Quisiera también. Le, mm -hmm. Y Marvin quisiera comer pochito, pochito, right? Chicken, chicken. Good, do you have any question? Any question about the structure? Yes. Uh, so, uh, pronunciation, the contraction, ah, word contraction. contraction. Again, listen, listen, Claudia. I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, it, with, they'd. I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, it with they okay so the, the, thank the, you the. you're welcome claudia <laughs> welcome welcome so any other question teacher yes yes in alonso negative. right sí. yes. uh, in the in negative. negative uh wouldn't let me see quiero ver si está en la anterior en la siguiente déjame ver uh -huh. Yes, this is the negative, Alonso. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Good. Now, listen. Uh, in negative form, we say uh, the same structure, but we only use the, the, the word not to express that you don't like to do something or like you say, no le gustaría hacer algo, right? Okay. Here is, me gustaría, me gusta. Right? Me gusta, pero me asusta. Okay. No, le, le gustaría hacer algo. Y en this one, right, we say, no me gustaría. So, what is it? The same subject would, the word not in this case, the, ver, the main verb like, and the preposition to plus a verb, right, to drink. In this case, no le gustaría, tomar, right? They would not like to cross the river. No le gustaría cruzar río, especialmente si un río que está ahí en, en Honduras o Guatemala, ahorita de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. They would not like to cross the river, right? Yo saber would not like to see her friend. And Marvin would not like to eat chicken, right? So in this case, you can also make contractions. You can say would plus not equal to say wouldn't, right? So you can say, Kenneth wouldn't like to drink soda. They wouldn't like to cross the river. Josabeth wouldn't like to see her friend. And Marvin wouldn't like to eat chicken, right? You can use the contraction in negative. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. 
Kenneth would not like to drink soda. Kenneth would not like to drink soda. Or you can use the contraction. Listen and repeat, please. Uh, turn off your microphone. Apagamos los micrófonos, please. Uh, Kenneth wouldn't like to drink soda. Okay, now the next one. They would not like to cross the river. They wouldn't like to cross the river. Josabeth would not like to see her friend. Josabeth wouldn't like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken. Marvin wouldn't, sorry, Marvin wouldn't like to eat chicken. Okie dokie, any question? Questions, questions? No. Okay. So, how to make yes, no question with would? And the same structure, ver plus two plus ver, right? Look at the example here. We have at the beginning, would, right? Instead of to have the subject, we have would at the beginning, right? Would you like to drink soda? Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would, would he like to eat chicken? So notice in this case, right? Uh, that we only change the position of the subject and the model, right? In the affirmative, you can see here, right? In the affirmative, you have the subject plus would, right? Now in the question, you have would plus subject, right? Would plus subject. Would plus subject, right? And the same structure, like to drink so. And the question mark, right? Uh, Luis Alberto, listen, what is the intonation here? Rising or falling? La intonación es elevándose o bajándose? Hacia arriba o hacia abajo? Luis Alberto. ¿Cuál sería la entonación correcta en estas preguntas? Mr. Carranza, hello. Ok, vamos a preguntar entonces a Víctor. Víctor, ¿Would you like to drink soda? ¿Is rising intonation? ¿O falling intonation? Eh, falling, teacher. Hmm, falling. Wait a minute. Is a yes no question or information question, Victor? Information. Mm. Okay. Aquí hay un, no. un truquito. Yes no question. Ajá, yes, yes no question, yes. right? Yes no question. Yes. yes no question. Yes no question, right, Victor? So in this case is? Uh, rising. Rising intonation. So listen, would you like to drink soda? Ah, okay. It's a good invitation, especially if you like Coca-Cola, right? You like the, the soda with ice and it's very hot. So would you like to drink soda? That's it, right? Now, and remember that all the yes, no question with verb to be, with simple past, with simple present, with would, with be going to, with everything is yes, no question, rising. Information question, falling, right? Now, repeat after me, please. Would you like to drink soda? Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? Okie dokie. So, any question? Questions, questions? No. Okay, now, would plus verb plus two plus verb and WH question, right? Then to begin, we have the WH word. What, where, when, why, which, whose, 
whom, etcétera, etcétera. Plus the modal would, plus the subject, plus there, plus preposition to, plus the verb, right? Where would you like to go? Right? ¿A dónde quisieras ir? Where would you like to go? Mm -hmm. O a dónde te gustaría ir, right? Okay. When would they like to play? When they, would they like to play? Uh, ¿Cuándo le gustaría ir a jugar? What would she like to do? ¿Qué quisiera hacer ella, right? Okay. Now, the only difference here is that we're using a WH word, right? Okay. In the previous questions, you answer, would you like to drink soda? Yes, I would. Right? Oh, no. Aunque este tipo de preguntas no se contesta, no, I wouldn't, porque suena muy pesado. Ahora se contesta con, yes, I would like to, but not today. ¿eh? Se pone una excusa. Pero generalmente, como es un ofrecimiento, no, no se contesta pesadamente, ¿verdad? Ok, but these questions, you know, the, the information question, are answered not with yes, for example, where would you like to go? Uh, yes, I would. No, right? No. You answer where? I would like or I'd like to go to, I like to go to, to the beach. <laughs> When would you, they like to play? Uh, they, they'd or they would like to play on Sunday. What would she like to do? She'd like to, to, to watch TV, for example, right? Okay, good. Now, please repeat after me. Where would you like to go? When would they like to play? What would she like to do? Okay. Now, Cindy, what kind of questions are these? Uh, what is the correct intonation, Cindy? It's rising or falling intonation. Falling. Falling intonation. Correct, right? Correct. Cindy, can you read the first question, please? Read the first question with the correct intonation, please. First. Uh, where would you like? La, the first one, right? La primera, Cindy. Read, please. Where? Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? Excellent, good. Where would you like to go? Now, Claudia Ordoñez, please. Claudia, read the second yes. question, please. Read the second question. Okay. When will they like to play? Excellent, falling, right? And Mr. Umansor, Alejandro, please. Read the question number three. What would she like to do? Okay, again, again, Alejandro, exaggeration of the, of the pronunciation, right? What would you learn? Huh? You know, something like that. Come on, Alejandro. Okay, what would she like to do? To do? Okay, you know, like... Do. Uh-huh, correct. What you know. to do? Uh-huh, okay. Excellent, Alejandro. Thank <laughs> you, thank you very much. Good, I, I don't know if you have okay. questions. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, I don't know if you have any questions. Questions? No questions. Okay, good. Eh, veo que hoy no está conectado también Josué Campos. Solo Josué Rosales nos está acompañando, ¿verdad? Pero no sé. Y Lorena que nos acompaña con su computadora y con su teléfono. Bien, Lorena. Congratulations, right? Me agrada mucho el esfuerzo que hace por que nos comuniquemos. Congratulations. Okay. Gracias, teachers. You're welcome. You're welcome. Gracias. Oh, listen, I like the effect, right? Me gusta el efecto. Nice. <laughs> okay, good. So if no questions, we're going to go to the platform, right? Nos vamos a la plataforma.
And let's practice. Uh, the platform is here. Okay. Here, right? Conversation, an invitation. In this conversation, you're going to see the use of would, right? In the conversation. So please pay attention. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Sorry, give me a second here. Used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation. Wait a minute. Here, right? Now, please, pay attention in the question, right? Would you like to go? Okay, then you say, yes, I would. And then notice the expression you use when you accept an invitation. You say, I love to. I love to, right? I would love to. And then the next question, it says, um... Wait, wait a minute. Uh, would you like to go? That's also you want to. Uh, I like to. Uh, here, right? Do you want to have dinner? Aquí la invitación la hace más, más directa, ¿verdad? No, no, no la hace tan polite. La, la invitación le dice, do you want to have dinner? ¿Quieres tener cena a las seis, right? Algo temprano para los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Pero six o'clock. Uh, I like to, listen. I like to, but I have to work late. Ok, esta es una de las características de las preguntas de would like to, que uh, no se deben responder con no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, right? Like you say, uh, would you like to eat some pupusas, right? Quisiera ir a comer unas pupusas, and then, no, no quiero. Oh, come on, you, know? <laughs> you never say that, right? Never, right? Like a, a, like a proverb, right? The proverb said, don't see the teeth in a give horse, don't see the teeth, right, on a give horse. Uh, la costumbre para cuando se califica un caballo, right, de verle los dientes. Si los dientes están buenos es porque el caballo <laughs> es de calidad, right. Entonces el proverbio dice, no le veas el diente a un caballo regalado, <laughs> a un caballo que te han dado, no, no, no estés examinándolo, es un regalo, right. <laughs> In Spanish is eh, a, a caballo regalado, right? No se le busca lado. No, no. Exacto. That, that is that is the okay. That is the problem in Spanish, right? But in English is don't see the teeth on a gift horse. Don't see the teeth on a gift horse. Okay. No le veas los dientes a un caballo que te han regalado. No pongas pero si te invitan a comer pupusitas. Let's go, right? <laughs> okay, so you say, but sometimes it's not possible, right? Sometimes you say, no, hijo, le tengo una reunión. I'm sorry, no puedo. So, but you have to say, I lie to, listen, but, and then you give the, the excuse, right? Me gustaría, pero, I lie to, but I have a meaning. I lie to, but uh, I am sick. I like to, but I don't know, right? Me pega mi mamá. Okay, but, but you say an excuse, right? You say an excuse when you receive the invitation. Okay, now we're going to practice pronunciation. Please, ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Tickets, soccer match. 
Friday night. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I have to work late. Uh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Before the match. Around 7.30. Around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. Gate. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, let me see. Okay. Just give me a second. Give me a second, please. Uh, yes, 4.12 today, right? Sorry, solo estaba chequeando que tenemos que llegar al 4.12, right? Today. Okay. So, come on. Uh, let's go and practice the conversation, but after the audio, right? So, listen to the audio and repeat. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Repeat, please. Okay, only Josué Rosales. Only Josué Rosales. Repeat, please. I have tickets. Jose? Hello, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Very Would good. Would you like to go? Ah, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Now, everybody, repeat. Would you like to go? Okay. Now, repeat, please. Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? Okay, Rosa, only you, Rosa, repeat. Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? Okay. It's falling intonation. What time does it start? Right now. Falling, right? Now repeat, please. At eight o'clock. Now only Lorena. Repeat, Lorena. At eight o'clock. Okay. Only that. Only that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now everybody, please repeat, repeat. That sounds great. So do you want yeah. to have dinner at six? Okay, only Victor. Repeat, Victor. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? 
Very good. Now, everybody, repeat everybody. Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Uh, now, only see. I'd like to. Ah, oh, oh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Very good. Now we're going to let Cindy, right? Cindy, repeat that part, please. Um, I like to, but I have to work late. Excellent. Listen, Cindy, make the the uh, like, like, híjole, like, que le digo, right? <laughs> oh, I like to. Good. Thank you, Cindy. Now, next one, please. Repeat, everybody. Everybody, repeat. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Now, Claudia Castro, please. Only you, Claudia. Claudia Castro. Oh, that, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7 30. Very good, Claudia. Thank you. Now, everybody, everybody. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Okay. Not only who's next, let me see. Only Abel, please. Abel, repeat that part, please. Abel? Hello, hello. Please repeat the part, please. Okay, let's. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me at the gate. Very good. Now, everybody, everybody repeat. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, Jose Alonso, please. Okay. That's so fine. See you there. Thank you very much. Now, to finish this practice, I need uh, four volunteers to make the conversation two times, right? Four volunteers to practice the conversation, right? Uh, I need you to tell me, me, uh, Carolina, or me, Lorena, or me, Luis, etc., right? Please. Me, Luis, et cetera, right? Luis. Me, teacher. Okay, Carolina and Luis, right? Okay, good. The, now, uh, Dave is Luis and Susan is Carol, right? Okay, teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we have Carolina and Luis. Okay, come on. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Hey, I love to. What time does it start? At A. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Congratulations. Uh, listen, uh, I like Alonso the, the pronunciation of gate. Gate, right? That's nice. Good. And listen the intonation of this question. What time does it start? Hmm? Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Huh? Of course, they don't speak. Claro que ellos no hablan así, but I estoy exagerando. Pero would you like to go? What time does it start? Right? Okay, good. Now, thank you very much. Now, two more volunteers, please. Two more volunteers. My, my, my Lorena. And Lorena. And okay, Lorena. come on, Lorena. Vamos a poner el efecto de echo. Lorena, thank you. <laughs> Lorena, you are you are Dave, Lorena. And my, you are Susan. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I have tickets to the soccer wash on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I will, I will 
to what time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the game. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you very much, my. Thank you very much, Lorena. Okay, now listen. Stadium, right? Stadium. And remember the intonation, right? You have to make like you are an actor, okay? Would you like to go? What time does it start? Huh? You know? Okay, thank you very much. And especially to Lorena, right? That is using uh, the computer and the, and the telephone, right? Okay, I imagine, I imagine Lorena in this way, right? That with the computer and with the telephone, right? Speaking. That's why you, you, you hear the, the echo, right? Because of the computer and the cell phone. <laughs> but it sounds nice. Pero suena bonito, Lorena. <laughs> I like it. Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the, to the other exercise and we finish the class, right? Good plus there plus two plus there, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes. I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb, plus complement. Examples, I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Listen, please. This part is very important. Look, this is a yes, no question, right? Don't confuse with wood, right? Wood no es un WH word. No, 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 no. Wood is a model, right? It's a model. Would you like to go out on Friday? Quisiera salir el viernes, right? Día de amigos, right? <laughs> okay, and then you can say, yes, I would. Yes, right. Oh, yes, I love to. Thanks. Oh, yes, I really like to go. Oh, yes, I really love to go, right? Those are the possible answers when you answer affirmative, right? But because this is an invitation, right? Like I said before, you never say, no, I wouldn't. No, right? Bah, bah. No, don't do that. Never say, no, I wouldn't, right? You have to be polite. Tiene que ser amable y poner, aunque sea mentira, ¿va? pero tiene que poner una excusa. Yes? Okay. Would you like to go uh, to a soccer match? I like to, right? Fíjate que quisiera ir, pero... But I have to work late, right? Tengo que trabajar tarde, right? Y tal vez usted está desempleado, pero... <laughs> I have to work late, right? <laughs> Me excusa. Okay. Oh, I like to, but I need to save money. 
Okay. I, need to, I need to save money. Necesito ahorrar algo de pisto, right? Está ahorrando, eh, Yes, yes. Para el, da, para el das giving. Ah, para el das giving. <laughs> yes, I imagine. To buy the turkey. Okay. Oh, I like to, but I want to visit my parents. You know, me gustaría ir al partido, ¿verdad? Pero fíjate que voy a ir a visitar a mis papás, right? I like to visit my parents, right? So this is the correct structure, right? To use when you receive an invitation with good. Good, right? Now, do you have any extra question about this topic? Any extra question? No. Okay, so we finished the, uh, here right now, right? And uh, for tomorrow, we're going to go to the knowledge check, right? Uh, mañana, pues, vamos a hacer dos, dos ejercicios nada más, ¿verdad? Uh, el 4.13 y el 4.15, right? Cristina Aguilera. Aquí vamos a entretenernos casi toda la clase. Eh, por eso quería que estuviera Josué Campos, pero... Me extraña que no se haya conectado, Josué, ni ayer ni ahora. Nunca fallaba las clases, ¿verdad? pero espero que todo esté bien. Eh, y ustedes, por supuesto, tienen, pueden adelantarse en, en, en la plataforma, no hay problema. Si quieren irse ya al examen final, pueden hacerlo, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Y cualquier consulta, pues ahí estoy siempre a la orden. O viceversa, si están atrasados y van a ir por, el, por la sección 1 todavía, pues. No importa, ¿verdad? Yo estoy ahí para ayudarles, ¿sí? Uh, recuérdense que la plataforma se va a cerrar el 20 de noviembre. 20 de noviembre, ¿sí? Pero no se atengan, no se atengan. Este es el último fin de semana que tienen para completar, ¿sí? Ya la otra semana, pues viernes, no sé, yo creo que la mayoría trabaja, ¿verdad? Ya es un poco más difícil. Así que aprovechemos este fin de semana y tratemos de terminar todo, ¿verdad? Y de ahí nos vamos bien fácil en, en, entre la semana, ¿ok? So, no questions? No questions. No teacher. questions. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. God bless you.